We're here today with Natalie from uh, the Mead uh, Gaming thing. There are other people talking a tiny bit about it just now. Uh, what exactly is Mead? Uh, it's sort of live action playing, but what does that mean? Like, right, it's live action role playing. So it's a lot like your good old paper based tabletop gaming, except you're now dressing up as your character and you're playing your character for the entire two days that you go away on that weekend. Yeah. So, um, yes, people can come and kill your character during the night. That has happened. And <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, it's fun. Um, uh, as you said, you just mentioned here briefly, uh, you guys actually yes. have events where you guys go away for two days for an yes. entire weekend. It's supposed to be every three months, I believe, or something like we that. We try for every three months, but realistically, it really comes down to about three times a year. Okay. So, um, generally, we've got two summer events and a winter-ish event. So, we're currently, the next one we've got is in May. So. All right. I, I believe it gets to the extent they actually have weapons where, like, foam bats and stuff where, and arrows and things for spells where yes. you can throw at people. So, there is actually quite a physical... Oh yes, um, despite the no-touching rule, we do hit each other a lot with foam weapons. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's all kinds of fun. Um, I myself, I'm an archer, so right. I shoot people with my foam arrows. And yes, they're totally safe. I'm also the arrow marshal, so I make sure of things like that. Okay, so it is, and it's quite an organized event. Uh, yes, very organized. We started ridiculously disorganized, and as we worked from there, we realized, you know what, there's a reason why the Americans have all of those rules, all of those marshals, everybody to keep everybody else in line. Okay. So we've got essentially a bureaucracy going. Um, we've got two head organizers, a whole ex um, bleh, <laughs> exco, exco, so yeah. executive committee, and I'm the treasurer. So obviously we've got quite a bit going for us at the moment. Um, of, of course, all of this is on a totally voluntary basis. Cool. We can't pay anyone. Yes. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's fun and all the rest of it. And that's yeah. what I believe to the point where either you guys have something like goblin points or something like yes, that. Yes. The you goblin points are an easy way. Okay. So they're like brownie points. So um, it's just going to count for you in game. So if you earn goblin points, you can spend it on your character's experience. You can spend it on cool items, on money, on anything that you really want. Um, Naturally, the more goblin points you have, the quicker you level. So a lot of people do a lot like web, web admin, standing in uh, web comics. Basically, you earn goblin points by doing stuff and helping the yeah, society it's, it's get like, further. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's all the background work, the hard work that, that makes it work yeah, better. Since we can't pay anyone, um, the goblin point system makes it just nice. Because it's awesome to actually get rewarded for something you do that you didn't really have to do. Okay. So cleaning up the site, um, donating money, um, printing out character sheets, uh, anything like that. All right. And you guys do have websites and stuff? Yes, uh, we do. Where, where can people find you? Okay. We're on Facebook. So you can first off just go to Medieval Adventures on Facebook. Okay. Um, if you don't find us there, because sometimes Facebook is fickle, you can head off to our actual main website, which is www at ah oh, sorry at <laughs> Dory, <laughs> dot, me, dot um, .co dot co dot za and on the site you can click on the forum if you want to interact with characters over there but otherwise on the w uh, site itself we've got um, pictures of previous events we've got information about the game we've got the rule books that we're using mm. we've got a web comic. It's oh, cool. still small and new, but we're going. Busy, uh, busy growing there. Yeah. Um, I gather you guys are not affiliated with the university, so anybody can join no. in. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is essentially it's free of the university entirely. Um, it's pretty much a bunch of friends that started this, cool. and it's just grown from their word of mouth. Okay. Yeah. Now, coming in as someone who knows nothing and I want to join in, what yes. would my normal steps be that I would have to follow to join in with you guys? Right, your first step really would be to go to the website, check out what it's all about, make sure that you're happy with it. Um, next up would be to email people at admin or registration just to um, let them know that you're there. Uh, the best thing I think really is to get yourself on the forum. Because okay. that way your character can start interacting with other characters um, in between events. Obviously, at an event, uh, you're going to just talk to people. So it's great. Right. I, I gather from these games, they're, they're actually quite convoluted. You know, you, you've oh, got in-game and out-of-game. <laughs> and There's politics going on. And, mm. uh, what, is, what is your character? And do you want to just give some basic idea of what, what all the things that go on with the game? My character is Sigra Okuchio of the Second Kingdom. Um, she started off as a lowly peasant, 
um, working for the Corvinians that are the Justicars essentially of Midal. Okay. Uh, Midal is the little world we play in. And um, since event one, I've kind of built myself up, became the head of the Rangers, and then eventually defected to the kingdom side um, okay. because so my character fell in love with the king of the kingdom. Also, also <laughs> politics that are going on. Oh, yes. And <laughs> um, so it's not just going out beating people earning points it's actually politics and it's actually quite involved world from what well, I gather it really depends on what you want to do with your characters some people love the politicking some people hate it some people want to monster bash there's something for everyone if you just want to sit in the tavern and talk crap the whole weekend you're welcome to there is a place called poppies where you can just sit down have a dragon or hooker you know, lie back, pretend that you're all kinds of stone because we don't allow any alcohol, we don't allow drugs, obviously it's illegal. Um, yeah. well, I can imagine with weapons and stuff you don't want. Yeah, uh, the fact of the matter is, if you're drunk, your decision-making skills are not that great, so it's just a bad plan. Uh, we actually discovered this slowly through our process, you know, <laughs> we started off at the very base level, and um, we've really discovered that despite the fact that we're mostly intelligent people, when you run into battle, it's funny. Something takes over and uh, you just start going at each other. Yes. So you have to have that kind of rules just to keep people thinking straight. All right. That's great. Cool. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Hmm. I think we've covered most of the stuff there. Trying to think. If you've got questions, come yeah. to us. Uh, email cool. us. Uh, there are many email addresses up that you can, you can probably email any of them and get to the and right somebody people. somebody will relay you through to the right person. Yeah. All right. But thank you much for talking to us. Pleasure. Cool. <laughs>